All right, it looks like Reddit finally got its wish. This is Problem Solver Politics. I am your host with Cody the Oracle. Hey, everyone. And today we're talking about Elon Musk's three-letter tweet that's just caused a firestorm. Or three-word. Or three-word tweet, sorry, you're right, that just caused a little bit of a firestorm. And we're questioning, does he actually officially endorse Andrew Yang? Cody, tell us what's going on. Yeah, well, as you said, we're going off three words right here. Uh, more so than that, though, to be frank. There's a bit of a history. However, uh, Dan Carlin from Hardcore History, which I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with, very great channel, or I think podcast on iTunes, check them out. Anyway, he said, how weird is it this should be a somewhat novel thing to say in relation to an Andrew Yang tweet that basically just says, like, look, oh, we're not all going to agree on everything, but let's solve problems together. Anyway... Elon Musk, the billionaire uh, astronaut, you could probably go on for an hour, but stuff this guy does, he just says three words right here, I support Yang. Uh, and that has kind of blown up the internet so far today. You can go and check all over the internet. There's articles all over the place. People are talking, what does this mean? Who, who is this Andrew Yang guy still? We're still seeing those ones. Like, yeah. Elon Musk support Andrew Yang. Who is Andrew Yang? Um, we were actually talking before. So like, who is John Galt? Who is Andrew Yang? Yeah, well, Andrew Yang's a little bit more prominent than a... Haven't read the book, to be frank, but Those still. Those are fighting words, dog. Still. Fighting well, words. I mean, wasn't he, wasn't he more mysterious? I think he was trying to hide, right, where Yang isn't. Yang wants people to know who he is. It's a little bit different story. Uh, anyway, though, the interesting thing about this, one of the big takeaways, and I'm going to bring up, bring up an article really quick. I want to highlight this as well. Um, and this, we're not going to go too deep into this article, but there's an article that says, Why Mark Zuckerberg Wants to Give You Free Cash, No Questions Asked. And what's interesting here is to go to the first paragraph. It says, what if everyone, no matter what age, economic status, location, or household size was guaranteed a minimum income? Sound familiar? Well, Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook and Tesla's Elon Musk, among other Silicon Valley giants, believe this idea called universal basic income, sound familiar, will provide greater economic security, especially for those jobs who could be lost to the automation and artificial intelligence technology sweeping the world. This is an article from Inc.com. From a little while ago. Uh, I just wanted to bring up that, yet yeah, Elon Musk and some of these kind of more Silicon Valley tech elite people, they are talking about you. They're talking Did about you just Andrew call him Elon Musk on accident. Elon, Elon, Elon. <laughs> I, 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 dude, we've gone over this. I have a habit of butchering every name ever, yeah. even people's names who I know I'll, I'll mispronounce some mistake. Um, <laughs> but as I was, just like I said, the only thing I wanted to put out here was it's really neat to see how we are going to start seeing the kind of fruits of the fact that, like, Andrew Yang, he's from Silicon Valley. He knows these people agree with this stuff. He knows what they talk about. He'll candidly even say in the interviews offhand, like, no, yeah, like, I talk with these people, and this is what they say, and they know this is going on, and they would like to do something so about it. So has, obviously, this is creating a little bit of a controversy, and Elon Musk responds, Well, controversy about what? Well, not controversy in the sense that this isn't the first time that Elon Musk has been pushed into clarifying a position. For example, everybody knows he was on the cabinet of Donald Trump. Everybody knows he also, uh, quote, supported Donald Trump and his pursuit of a space force. And then there was also the infamous uh, Twitter, I mean, tweet in which Elon Musk said, oh, I'm a socialist. And then people, you know, all of the woke crowd said, you're not a socialist. You've gotten rich off of capitalism. How dare you say that? While other people are saying, oh, but he supports UBI, and this big semantic argument breaks out, right? Oh, hold on. So, speaking of semantics, I want to know, what does it actually mean, I support Andrew Yang? Oh. Because, for example, I know many Republicans, elected Republicans, that have said, oh, dude, I totally support Andrew Yang. I really like what he's doing. I can't endorse a Democrat or else... I actually have violated party rules and I could be censured and removed. And, you know, there's all these technicalities and semantic arguments. Um, so I just wonder, what does I support Andrew Yang mean? Is that yeah. him saying that actually, like, I want people to vote for him as well, I will on. be voting? I can elaborate for you. I know okay. what it means. And Elon Musk goes on to say he would be our first openly goth president. I think this is very important. So that's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I doubt that. Well, dude, the bottom I doubt line, Elon the, the Musk is, is, is wanting to goth president, or else we would just call like Nine Inch Nails over right. and have them. Grimes, his, girl, his former girlfriend. I don't know if they're still dating or not. Uh, yeah, he was dating her at one point, though. Grimes. Yeah, so so it kind of does make you wonder what this means. But, but dude, like, we can argue semantics forever. What what does what does I'm hungry really mean? When you say I am hungry, those three words, what are you okay, really I, I'm saying? I'm not saying the semantics of the but words. I'm just saying if okay, he, when I say what does it mean, I, I, I'm beyond the semantic argument at this point. I'm saying yeah. what does it mean? As in, what will this convert into in a practical world for Andrew Yang? Obviously, 
Obviously, there's the exposure. I mean, Elon Musk has how many million Twitter followers? He's probably donated money to the campaign already in some sense. If not, this is the bigger in-kind donation that he can give. Yeah, so, I mean, he's got millions of Twitter followers, and there are people that... 27.8 to be correct. 27.8 million followers. That's a lot of Twitter followers. How many does Donald Trump have, by the way? Uh, I don't know, probably more. I mean, probably more, but I'm I'm saying you're you're getting into that one sliver of one tenth of one percent. Oh no, he's like probably like the top twenty accounts on the on the platform. I have to imagine. Okay, that, that's a huge number. Exactly. So you're getting a top twenty account saying, "I support Yang." I think there's some interesting things about it. Um, by virtue of the fact that he just said Yang, yeah, sixty two million for Trump. So he, like I said, he's up there in like the top ten or so accounts. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot of people who just saw that. And so, I guess they ask, "Who is Yang?" Right? Just I support Yang. What does that mean? Yeah, the the fact that he actually said Yang and not Andrew Yang actually makes it almost yeah. more well, interesting because in people reference think to, it's kind of like Prince when you only use one word. Yeah, you know I mean, what I'm like, saying? But the other thing is, what's this going to convert to practically? Because I got to tell you, there's Elon Musk has a religious following. I have friends. One of my buddies who directed a very successful movie in 2014. I, I'm pretty convinced would renounce every religious relic and and creed and belief in his life before he would ever speak nary an ill word of Elon Musk, okay? People absolutely adore this man as the visionary of the future whom must be believed. I mean, he's like a freaking prophet to some of his followers, like, more than Dr. Phil and Oprah on steroids, all right? Well, hold on. How about this? Okay. I believe going back to the election... No, this will be 2015. So going back to the 2016 election, this is one thing I wanted to highlight about... This is an article about Elon Musk. Um, campaign contribution disclosures this summer raised interest in Washington when they revealed that Musk had donated the maximum amount of 5000 to former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign, while also giving some money to Marco Rubio, where there was a refund, but I guess that, that has to do more with the fact that Musk contributed to the Senate campaign, and that was moved to the presidential campaign. They said, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm donating for your Senate campaign, not your presidential campaign. Um, however, though, I think there's one thing interesting to point out about Elon Musk, that he served in Trump's cabinet, I think he is, he's a businessman, man. Ultimately, he's a businessman. He, he knows if the government know, is familiar like with him Hughes and likes him, man. he'll, no, he's a Howard Hughes. No, not as crazy, and he doesn't have, you know, yeah, a clinical close. OCD. Yeah. But I got to tell you. I guess he, he's close. He, it's his spruce goose is the, uh, the, what's it called? SpaceX, right? Yeah, except for SpaceX is flying. Well, technically, so did the Spruce Goose. Yeah. But, um, by the way, apparently he hated success. that it was called the Spruce Goose. Oh, I can imagine. He's a way more clever guy than that. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, I, I think this is interesting and I got to tell you, um, I have personal family and friends that, uh, work with, you know, both SpaceX and the estate of Elon Musk and so on and so forth. And, um, apparently super intelligent, uh, um, but also rational dude, but yeah, does keep his political thoughts guarded. And that's interesting. I mean, he's would donating to Marco just, Rubio. Would you look at that graph I just put up? Yeah. Can, can you see it from there? Which candidates yeah, receive the, the blue financial? lines, Democrats, and the, yeah. the purple lines, Republicans? So you'll notice, dude, he's a guy who's donated. There was a spike in the Obama era where he he basically was donated to Democrats and no one else, but and then uh -huh. it spiked again in the second term with the Obama. So the first Obama administration, he voted he do, donated to Democrats. My point being, this is a guy well, who that's is intriguing. interested. In, I'm guessing in ideas and not parties. Whoever's so idea between seems cool, he 08 donates. and 012, well, he's 12. really hammering and pumping the Democrats. Yeah. But then post 2012. Not 2016, post-2012. Second term Obama. He's basically uh, been uniquely giving to Republicans. Yeah, and this this is, of course, out of date. This is an article from 2015. I'm just going through the article talking about some past contributions. Just looking at the last election, what did Musk's endorsement mean? Who did he endorse? We okay, could see so that have we noticed um, an uptick in Andrew Yang's popularity with any measurable quantifiers on social media way too feeds? Soon. Or way too soon. It's all way too soon. I mean, okay. as of recording, he tweeted this maybe an hour and a half ago. 90, sorry, 90 minutes, man. Like, I'm sure he's gaining followers, but like, we'll check in a day or two. But like right now, it's just, it's just too soon to call. Uh, I'll see if I can pull up Social Blade on Andrew Yang's Twitter account. Uh, but even then, I don't know if Social Blade would have updated at this point. Um, okay, well, I can tell you right now, the Reddit folks are going to be uh, going to be totally stoked yes, out of their minds because yes. something we've been following for a little while. Can you actually show that? Yeah, well, this the goes Reddit. Back. Look at the date on this man. Posted three months ago, it was May, or maybe you know around May time. Doesn't. But look at all date. those those upvotes and those comments. I mean, this isn't just some lone you know, seventy-one comments. Yeah, this isn't some lone Reddit warrior. 
you know, amusing about his dreams of Elon hey, Musk supporting comment. Andrew Yang. Read the first comment. That's funny. Okay. Musk appears to be pro Yang, but I cannot oh. see him openly endorsing if he ever does until Yang becomes begins to accumulate lesser endorsements first. How can we get Eric Weinstein, Sam Harris? And anyway, the point I wanted, thing I wanted to point out was someone's like, I just can't see him openly endorsing him until like more people. And then it's like, no, Elon Musk. I mean, he could Elon Musk, the kind of guy who would walk that back and say, well, I support the ideas of Andrew Yang, but a presidential camp like he can always walk it back. But he, he see, said that, I support that, Andrew Yang. That's why I'm or wondering Yang. this. I support Andrew Yang. If that's just some kind of strange hedging. But nowadays, even the word supporter, oh. I think, sometimes can be worse than donor. I swear, like eh. the word Trump supporter that's is like thing. that's a unique thing in 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 pop culture now. The equivalent of being a you know a, a, a what, hold on one second. Are we going to go back to World War II Europe again? No, actually, I was just okay. thinking, what word won't the Google algorithm a bad demonetize? Person. A bad guy. People, and say, yeah, people, a bad person. Yeah, there we bad are. Bad guy. Yeah, we'll, we'll simplify it for everyone. Half no, of our I videos, mean, the second we make references or analogies, automatically get you know demonetized, deranked, yeah, anyway, or deprioritized. Yeah. That aside, uh, we were talking before. I thought it was interesting, man. We're talking before, right? Okay. About what are some other endorsements Andrew Yang has? Nicholas Cage is probably the most infamous, just because it's like he. I don't think he said anything about it. He just don't to mind Andrew Yang and there's a like why Dude, did you Nicholas got the national treasure endorsing you? no but it was not like he came out and said oh this is why I like Andrew Yang I think he just gave him money and that came out publicly and that's been it but however we have some other high profile endorsements I'm sure there's more actually in the comments guys let us know every other high profile endorsement about Andrew Yang okay. you personally know this the, the, these first two I thought were really hilarious Rivers Cuomo lead singer of Weezer oh yeah singer. and then Leslie Smith uh I believe Leslie Smith Oh man, I don't want to do this again. Butcher names. I believe she's the comedian, actress. I think she was the one in Knocked Up and other films like. Oh, it's Leslie Mann. I did it. I knew I was going to do. It. I was going to blow the name. Leslie Smith, the UFC fighter. Oh, we yeah, actually she's saw the one in we Los met Angeles. down in Los Angeles. Yeah, it's, I do. Say, I, I like how I caught myself preemptively. I'm, like, I'm going to get the name wrong. I I, I know yeah. I'm going to get it. anyway. Yeah. So like I said, you have UFC fighters, you have actors, you have musicians, you have billionaire Elon Musk. Like the the notion that the the Yang campaign is a way of bringing multiple people together. Seems to be more and more like, yeah, pretty much, man. Like, that is what happens. The Andrew Yang campaign has a way of bringing people from different walks of lives together. And again, we could just look at Elon Musk, somebody who in the past has shown no real preference. I mean, legitimately, first term Obama, all Democrats, second term Obama, all Republican. Like, the guy definitely is more interested in ideas and how it's going to affect his bottom line than maybe, you know, changing the world. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be so cynical as say his bottom line. I well, think. What else would you? Who, who's going you, to promote his projects more? What his bottom line? If if somebody's going to no, run for office, he seems on, a lot more than just a bottom line guy. I mean, this guy's head is in the clouds. But still, like, literally. But but maybe bottom line the fact that like SpaceX will be unprofitable if X person's elected because I and I can't do what I want then. Like you, just okay. because it's not like saying he wants profit to put in a Scrooge McDuck you know bath of gold coins. It's more like I want to do these things. Solid night. 90s reference. Yeah, it's like Solid I want to do these reference. things, so I have to maintain. Um, I have to maintain profitability, so I can do these things. Like, dude, it's not expensive. It's not cheap to go to the moon. Like, he needs revenue. Bottom line to implement that. I think that's what we're seeing here. He seems to be a guy who's more interested in doing what he wants to do than, like I said, changing the world. I mean, for, for example, I believe he's a citizen. Elon Musk isn't from the United States. I don't even know if he's a citizen that's what i mean he is kind of that globalist billionaire class for like dude he's not tied down anywhere if if the worst president in Amer united history got elected and the entire economy crashed overnight and people were living on boxes he would just go somewhere else in a heartbeat so like i said people that are these globe-trotting billionaires they have different interests when they support candidates than someone like me or you where it's like dude we're americans born in america or let's say you're born elsewhere and you're now an immigrant to become a citizen in america your average person can't just say, well, I'm going to go live in Sweden again, or I'm going to go back to Denmark. That was cool. It's like, no, this is my country. I live here now. It's, I, yeah. I've lived here for this many years. This is where I'm from. I'm very interested in what happens with our political system. Someone like an Elon Musk can easier say, well, that was fun. Anyway, I'm going to go to China. You know what I mean? Like These people aren't tied down the way citizens, I don't want to say citizens, but I want to say they're not tied down the way residents like me and you are. We're, we're basically in this country for the long haul. Yeah. So I just want to put that out there as a little thing. I I, I think that would uh, and I do think he donates more on or he supports his politicians more on ideas than he does one hundred percent on policy. Where he says, you know what, I like what this person's promoting because again, as you were saying, I guess you're right, man. Talking about bottom line, Andrew Yang is talking about ways to tax Elon Musk's companies. Like if if Tesla has a fleet of automatic trucks out there, he's th that money's going to the federal government yeah, to pay for the UBI. Elon Musk. Elon Musk has been talking UBI on legitimate interviews and podcasts for years That's before true. it was popularized by Yang. That's true. So Elon Musk is one of the few people that I actually believe 
is emotionally, huh. logically, and philosophically invested in the idea instead of just thinking, oh, yeah, this is cool, so I'm going to endorse it right now. If he's I'm not Johnny Come Lately. He's Elon Came Early. Want to watch this video real quick? It's one minute and 50 seconds long. Pure pure yeah, this was his conference that he did the World Something better. Summit, right? Government. What you know, to do like about mass yeah. unemployment? Pump it up. Just make sure you don't get This is going to be a massive social yes. challenge. Um, and I think ultimately we will have to have some kind of universal basic income. I don't think we're going to have a choice. Universal basic Un income. Universal basic income. I think it's going to be necessary. So it means that unemployed people will be paid across the globe. Yeah. Because there is no job. Machine robot is taking Look over. Look at that body language. Um, that, that's simply he the, is the, ugly the, convinced. I don't want to be clear that these, these are not uh, things that I think that I wish would happen. These are things, simply things that I think probably will happen. Um, that was big. Dude. And since, and if, they, if, if, if my assessment is correct and they probably will happen, then we need to say, what are we going to do about it? And this is the soothsayer of modern kind times. Of yeah. But you hear what he said there. It's not what I want. It's what I think has to happen. That's interesting. You know, it's, like, it's almost now, done. The output, the output of goods and services will be extremely high. Um, so with automation, um, they, will, they will come abundance. Um, there will be... Uh, almost everything will get very cheap. Um, it's a necessity. The, uh, it's, so it's... It, it, uh, I think the, the bigger, I think we'll just end up doing uh, universal basic income. It's going to be necessary. Um, the, the, the harder challenge, much harder challenge, is how do people then have meaning? Like a lot of there people, we go. they derive That's a good point. their meaning That's a good point. their employment. This is one of the first videos that so I suggested, if, how would people have meaning have, in an automated society? If, if you're yeah. not I mean, needed, if there's not a need for your labor, how do you... What's the meaning? Do you, do you have meaning? Do you feel useless? These are much, that's a much harder problem to deal with. There we are. Awesome. Fascinating. And, that was a really fascinating little clip. I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, and all of his crazy, um, you know, personal issues aside, I... Oh, sorry. And that, that, that clip, I, I just sorry, to go back to your point, that's a clip from 2017 before Andrew Yang announced his candidacy. It's not a recent clip. This is, yeah. as you said, opinion. And, and that's, why I said, that's why I said um, he's not Johnny come lately to this. He's Elon came early. And, and, and he's come early to a lot of things. I mean, he was the first one to see that the Internet is going to be the big trading ground. And while all the boomers and the Gen Xers were still thinking, ah, we don't even know if we want to put up a website because this is going to be a passing fad. He's starting PayPal. OK, and he's getting the single largest payment processor online up and running a decade before it was big. OK, sells out huge. Um, I believe I believe PayPal was bought by eBay so they could use it as their principal online trading platform. That's actually how we do all of our payment processing. He no longer owns it, you know, but it definitely is considered a legacy of him. And then obviously starts SpaceX and starts Tesla and starts all these other things. When he started Tesla, people were absolutely ridiculing him for having believed to start saying, oh, it's impossible to get a car company started in the United States of America. Boom. Now every hipster uh, in Los Angeles is driving a Tesla to the club. Yeah, well, not and really the older than the hipsters. Okay, fine. Every boomer hipster, hipster. Hipsters are driving whatever they can afford their lease payment on. The Teslas are like waiting yeah. lists, hundreds of thousands of dollars. A little, little, little okay, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, the tech hipsters. Like okay, that. yeah. Company. Hold on one second. I have to get one correction out. I apologize so much. Elon Musk is South African, not European. I don't know why I thought he was Danish. He is. He's South African, so I apologize. Okay. And um, anyway, so he, uh, he starts that. And then now... You know, he's building seismic tunnels as prototypes in Los Angeles long before Caltrans can figure out how to keep the roads paved, okay? So I, I definitely see that this guy, he's one of these geniuses. I was a physics major before I, I transferred to Spanish. You can imagine the enthusiasm of my mother. But he definitely has the same way of talking and the same way of speaking and the same way of interacting as many of my genius friends who simply are just constantly looking 20 years into the future because they've already thought about the first from now to 15. And that's the way this guy is. He sees it coming. And I think that is a huge logical endorsement for intelligent people of Andrew Yang. The only problem is most people do not think logically about politics. Read the book, The Myth of the Rational Voter by Brian Kaplan, and you will find that unfortunately we vote emotionally. So um, I think the celebrity of this is great for Andrew Yang. I want to see how much it's going to tick him upwards 
this unofficial endorsement that is an endorsement. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, if you haven't liked, please like this video yet. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you smash that subscription button and ring the bell. We actually have had a couple of comments where people have been unsubscribed to our show without unsubscribing. Uh, apparently, David Pakman and many other YouTubers are complaining about the exact same thing. This is independent political commentary. Yeah, therefore, you got to stay on top of it. Yeah, yeah it uh, seems to be a kind of a platform-wide problem. But please, make sure you like, you subscribe, share so that Google knows that you're interacting. And uh, if you want to contribute to the show, just check out the PayPal link below. This is Problem Solver Paul.